welcome back to Talk of the Town. And after the winter that we've just gone through. Gone it's, through? It's, well, and we're going through, okay. ooh, right through spring, which is coming up. A uh, lot of uh, wear and tear on houses and driveways and pretty much everything because of the ice and the snow. It's been a freezing. wild ride this year. Oh, tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> this whole uh, area is a one great big pothole. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but uh, with us today, we have a friend from the Better Business Bureau, Peggy Penders, is going to give us a few tips on how people can avoid scams mm -hmm. of people trying to um, offer advantage. themselves as home yeah. repair experts. Um, welcome, Peggy. Thanks for having me. I'm happy to be here. Uh, what's one of the biggest problems that people run into when they're looking for a contractor? You know, I was just going through complaints to prepare for today and there's hundreds and hundreds of them that are never answered and this is the big problem is hundreds of complaints, complaints that are never that are answered, never answered. Mm -hmm. and it's really that you haven't done your research finding history about that company knowing that that company has experience in the job that you need can really run you into trouble that's number one just getting enough you know advice and interaction with a couple of companies at least two we like to see three from you know businesses that you can find some history about so you want to find a business with a background look them up online mm -hmm. maybe find some customer referrals absolutely turn to the better business bureau one of the things that we want everyone to understand if they are accredited with the better business bureau they're required to respond to your complaint if there is an issue they're going to respond so that's a really good thing to know if they don't respond to the complaint then the better business bureau steps in well, for accredited businesses, yes, and actually any business. I mean, we're here to really resolve disputes in the marketplace, and we resolve almost 77% of any dispute that's brought to our attention. But I got a stack of complaints right here. Oh my goodness! Well, let's let's hear something. Can you something. read one? Yeah. Like, just, like, give me you know, an example. Like, just like you know, a few hundred. Wow, that, that doesn't. I mean, now that doesn't make me feel just, good. This, <laughs> you know? this is just Western New York, mm. so it, it it does get you you know kind of like itchy. Yeah. But all this information information is available at bbb.org so you can go there if you're thinking about a company you can look for you know different options you can call our office we have this really neat feature and everything is free like keep that in mind bbb.org totally free it's called request a quote so if you see a company and you see that they have you know a good record they're accredited not accredited doesn't you know always have to be the important factor uh, but you can request your information right there with clicks I, want, I need this, you know, blah, blah, blah. Can you tell me about it? And we send it to that company and it comes back to you. That's fantastic. So it's going through you to the company, mm -hmm. which um, I think kind of says something to whomever it is you're requesting the quote that yeah. obviously you are researching. Yeah. You you know what you're doing. You're using the Better Business Bureau. Yeah. But let's hear what you I got. Did, I did pull out just a couple that just make you like, ah! You know, my mom, she's 89 years old. She needed to do some, you know, heating repair. They wanted $2,400. We gave them 1200 Guy never showed up never came back actually they signed the contract guy came back to say okay I'm gonna give you your money back left said he was gonna to go to the bank never came back uh. and then they heard that they that this particular person had been doing this before to other people yeah so you got to be very very cautious another one of these is talking about you know buying materials they said they needed five thousand well, they needed 7500 for more materials so we gave them this money they started the job didn't complete it, left a big mess, took off with all their money, they paid cash. So this is another big, big red flag. Do not use your cash. Once you've given away your check or your hard-earned green, <laughs> being with St. Patrick's Day, uh, you know, it's really, really difficult to get it back. You've got to go through all kinds of dispute resolutions. If Better Business Bureau cannot help, you're going into small claims mm -hmm. court. So it can be a real big problem. Use your credit card. That's a really big, important thing to do. It's daunting, really. And I think particularly for the elderly, when they have issues like uh, so many of us have this year, leaking roofs and, oh, yeah. Lots you know. Of, lots well, you of want someone problems. who can do, you want someone who can do quality work. Mm -hmm. And how do you find them? You look in, you know, the phone book, you ask friends, you, it, it's, there's really no set way, especially for the elderly, mm -hmm. to know who's going to be good and who's not going to be good, who's going mm -hmm. to do what they say, who's going to be quality work, that's, that's all kind of a, an unknown area for a lot of people making decisions. It is, and, it, and, it, and there's so much responsibility on you as the consumer. Another thing, get it in writing. 
absolutely want everything that you expect in writing. You absolutely have to have that contract. We're all kind of like, you know, still here. We're friendly. This is like the city of good neighbors. Shake, shake my hand. Of course I'll shake your hand. Got a deal. <laughs> <laughs> but unfortunately, that yeah, isn't not in the real world. Yeah. you know, going to work. At least you've got that protection. Yeah. You have it in writing. What you expect is spelled out. They, you know, anyone can call us. We'll give them some information about a couple of companies in your area that we see are reputable. You know, certainly give you information about accredited businesses that are making that commitment to honesty, transparency, going to help you out if an issue arises. Well, One thing, you, you can't be shy when you're doing this. You can't basically be intimidated you can't be by the people who are coming in. They're not doing you a favor. Mm -hmm. They're trying yeah. to take mm -hmm. money from you to do a job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So nobody can hate you for being a good business person. Mm -hmm. Right. One of these complaints actually says that after they requested the money be returned, the gentleman came back to their home. They only saw him this one other time to yell at them and tell them what a bunch of crazy people they were. And he left and never gave them their money. So that's why it's really, really important that you are actually dealing with someone that you've done this homework, you know, that you know that they are local, mm -hmm. that you can contact them with a phone number, they have an address, you can find them, you know, through other directories, if, if not through the Better Business Bureau, other associations where they have, you know, a footprint here in our hometown. There's enough people that can help you with your home and business repair. Lots of businesses having trouble too. And my house. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I know that we can go online because you have uh, a list of tips, some yes. really important tips. I think you may have referred to some of some of these things that just anyone can go mm -hmm. online at the Better Business Bureau. But you've got some some things here that are, um, you know, they, they almost seem common sense, but you can get caught up in the emotion. That's yes. one of your tips. Yes. Well, you know, we're, we all want everything done right away. Mm -hmm. You know, unless there's really a dangerous situation, you've got to slow down. Don't let your emotions make that decision, just like in love. We don't want our, <laughs> we don't want our hearts leading our brains. So we've got to make sure that we're actually, you know, taking all the details, looking at the fine print, making sure we have a time frame commitment. You know, contractors, you know, by nature have things that come up and they're here and they're gone and they don't come for a few days. Mm -hmm. And this can be very aggravating. But as long as they have a good reputation and they're working with you and you can reach out to them and they're responsive, yeah. you can work with them. So you, you want to make sure that your emotion's not leading your choice. And then red flags. What are these? So tell us about some of these red flags you have on your... Well, you know, we're entering to spring. We're just, we're just going to be a day away, moments away, um, where you're going to look at, you know, different situations. Folks will come into areas that they know have been damaged. And this, you know, Western New York is absolutely an area that has suffered a lot. We've made the national news a couple of times. So we're going to have an influx of people that are, you know, looking to work. Are they reputable? If they're from out of state, maybe they are. But make sure that they have that information that you're looking for that they're listed somewhere they have information to contact them at a later date I see you have door-to-door -door solicitation door-to-door mm -hmm. -door solicitation you know can be a problem we like to say you know buy a Girl Scout cookie you're in good shape yeah. you know don't buy your your home ceiling you know your roof repair you know because somebody came to your door you know because you really can't make those decisions quickly you've got to do that research and make sure that that company has this has the experience has done this before and is someone that you can contact should something come up later mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, knowledge is the most important thing. You, you need to know what you're getting into, yes. what you can expect, how much it's going to cost you, and the way to verify all this is to get it into writing. Yes. I mean, then nobody can argue with what was said and what wasn't said, what was promised. Mm -hmm. That's one of the biggest problems that I've faced in the past is people have said, well, you know, that was just a lo loose quote. I didn't mm -hmm. really mean that. Mm -hmm. Or I didn't account for this or I didn't account for that. Mm -hmm. You really need to get everything in writing. Well, you need it in writing and sometimes it's really, really, really tiny. <laughs> tiny print. So you've got to make sure that you're going through all that information and if you yourself don't understand it, just ask somebody. You know, ask a friend, ask a neighbor, ask somebody that's in your community that can help you really understand what you're going to sign before you sign it. And reach out to the Better Business Bureau. They're Absolutely. there to help. They are there to help. Won't cost you a thing. We'll be back right after this.